If you want to learn how you can utilize LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate prospecting lists and leads for your social media marketing agency in 2019, this is the video for you. What's up everyone? So as I said to you in the intro, this video is going to be all about LinkedIn and more specifically how you can be utilizing LinkedIn to generate leads for your business, whether that's a social media marketing agency, digital marketing agency, whether you're a freelancer, anyone that works within the B2B space can and really should be utilizing LinkedIn to help them generate more leads and more customers. Now, LinkedIn itself is a topic or is a platform and a topic that I know very well. If you haven't like already checked me out on LinkedIn, please go ahead and do that. Connect with me. I've been posting on there way longer than I have been on, on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to show you today some quick tips about how you can generate leads, but more specifically how you can actually utilize LinkedIn Sales Navigator to build really targeted prospecting lists. Now, LinkedIn, we could talk about over like 10 or 20 videos. So I'm just going to focus on building prospecting lists from Sales Navigator. But if you do want any other LinkedIn topics covered, please let me know. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to go over, what you want me to help you with. And, um, and I'll put something together and put a video out on that for you. So as I said, today we'll use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, show you how to build lead lists from it. Now you can use normal LinkedIn to generate leads and build lead lists, but Sales Navigator is way more powerful and I will show you why. So this is my LinkedIn screen that we're looking at. It might look a little bit different from yours because I've blocked out the feed, the news feed, so I don't get distracted. I could spend hours scrolling through, reading people's stuff, so I've blocked that out, so that's why it looks a little bit different. But let's say we are a social media marketing agency and we want to find some new clients. What would we do? How would we do that? So on LinkedIn itself, you can use the search bar up here and you can search for people and it will take us to a page where we can start to build out some searches. So you want to go to all filters and then this is where you can add some criteria. Now, as I said, Sales Navigator is much more in depth than this and we're going to go into that in a moment. But for anyone that doesn't use Sales Navigator, this is what you can work with. So you can add locations. So let's say for the purpose of this, we want to look at companies in London. So I add London. I just want to see people that are second or third degree connections. So that means I'm not already connected with them. Let's say we're a social media marketing agency and we want to connect with like gym owners or something like that. Now we don't have a ton of options for that, but we can go industry. Let's see a fitness, health, wellness and fitness. We can try that. And then job title, let's go founder. Or we could even try manager. I mean, as you see with, um, with standard LinkedIn, you don't have a ton of things. You could choose languages, schools that they went to or past or current companies and that's basically it. So if you do apply, you'll get the search and this will be like 5,000 results. And like, of course there'll be some useful stuff in there for you, but it will take you a lot of time to, to go through so this is where we start to use Sales Navigator to become a lot more focused with this. So I would click here, search with Sales Navigator. Sales Navigator is a paid platform for some of you. It might be expensive if you want to use that word. I think it's like 69 euros a month or something like that. But if you're doing any kind of lead generation, sales outreach, it is 100% totally worth it. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that, so I'm not going to plug it. But if you're using... If you're using LinkedIn and you want to generate more leads and more sales, I think Sales Navigator is essential. So it's plugged in the criteria that we already put, and you can see we already have more results somehow. Um, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to we're going to get a lot more advanced with this. So we'll click on Advanced and we will search for leads. So you'll see that we already have a ton more options available to us. So geography, I'm going to keep as London industry. I I'm going to keep as health, wellness and fitness. We'll try this first and secondary connections. But then we can start to choose things like the company headcount. So how many people work for the company that this person's at. Now, if you're doing social media marketing services, you probably want to find like a slightly bigger chain. So I would always go at least 11 people, 11 to 50. And you can go bigger than that too. So you could basically do between 11 and 500 maybe as an example, or maybe even a thousand if you want to target some of those like bigger, bigger gyms. 
and then you can either search for content that they've posted or in keywords you could do gym let's do a search here so you'll see here we've gone from 47,000 results to 878 results and these are all people that have manager in their title they uh, have the keyword gym somewhere in their profile the company they work at has between 11 and 200 staff within the health and wellness industry and if you wanted you didn't have to use manager you could use founder owner whatever but you can see here we have a list of 878 people and um, if you want to see like people that have been active on LinkedIn you can go here 91 of these people have posted on LinkedIn in the last three months so they might be even more likely to pick up your message and now for me personally when I have a super targeted lead list like this relevant to my business and, and what I do there's two approaches you can take so you can go down the automation route you can use an, uh, you can use an automation tool even to help you connect with these people at scale send them invitation messages etc on autopilot or you can do things manually now um there's always a fine balance. So if you're reaching out to a large lead list, I would recommend using an automation tool such as Linked Helper down here. I'll do a separate video on how you can utilize that. Um, but for, for this example, you can reach out to them manually. And the biggest mistake that most people make is they go, when they send them a message, they'll go straight for the sales pitch. They'll send them like this connection message, which is clearly just trying to sell to them, right? You don't want to do that. You want to actually engage in a conversation and build a relationship with these people. So what I would recommend doing is, first of all, seeing if you have any shared connections. So this guy, Kevon, uh, general manager at the gym, Holborn Circus at the gym group. Let's say I wanted to try and sell him Facebook ads or social media management. I would take a look at his profile. And the great thing about LinkedIn Sales Navigator, it immediately shows me a load of stuff about Kevon. And if you remember, these are all people that posted on LinkedIn in the last three months. So it tells me my best path in. So this is someone that I'm already connected with that is also connected with Kevon. So I could ask them for an introduction here. But as you see, there are also seven other introduction paths. But I can also see his recent activity on LinkedIn. So he posted this three weeks ago. So I could go and take a look. And now when I send him a connection request, rather than just sending a blank connection, which you should never, like never ever send a blank connection, always personalize the connection request. But here you can see, this is what he posted about. He posted about a personal trainer recruitment day in London. So when you send him a connection request, you can either mention that post that he made on LinkedIn. You can use one of these people to introduce you. You can mention a common connection that you have. Anything, just don't pitch to them. And just try and engage in a conversation. The biggest thing with lead generation, whether it's cold email, LinkedIn, uh, any social media, you don't need to do anything else other than engage this person in a conversation. You just need them to reply to you. Once they've replied to you and they're speaking with you, you build up that relationship and then you can transition it into a sales conversation. So this is how you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator for building prospecting lists. As I said, I'll do another video about how you can then automate that sales process and please let me know in the comments down below this video what else you would like to see to help you with LinkedIn because I feel like there are a ton of subjects that we could cover uh, so yeah please let me know with your comments down below if you found this video useful if you liked it you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I will see you again next time for another video